New York Tribune. Evelyn Hugo to auction off gowns by Priya Amrit March to 2017 film legend and 60s it girl Evelyn Hugo has just announced that she will auction off 12 of her most memorable gowns through Christie's to raise money for breast cancer research at the age of 79 Hugo has long been an icon of glamour and elegance she's known for a personal style both sensual, unrestrained and many of Hugo's most famous looks are considered touchstones of the fashion and Hollywood archives. Those looking to own a piece of Hugo history will be intrigued not only by the gowns themselves, but also by the context in which they were worn included in the sale will be the emerald green Miranda. La Conda that Hugo wore to the 1959 Academy Awards the violet souffle and organdi scoop neck she donned at the premiere of Enna Karenino in 1962 and the navy blue silk Michael Maddox that she was wearing in 1980 to when she won her Oscar for all for us Hugo has weathered her share of Hollywood scandals not the least of which being her. Seven marriages, including her decades-long relationship with film producer Harry Kammer and the two Hollywood insiders shared a daughter Connor Kammer who is no doubt the influence for the auction. Miss Cameron passed away last year from breast cancer soon after turning 41 born Evelyn Eleanor Herrera in 1938 the daughter of Cuban immigrants Hugo grew up. In the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood of New York City by 1955 she had made her way to Hollywood gone blonde and been rechristened Evelyn Hugo almost overnight Hugo became. A member of the Hollywood elite she remained in the spotlight for more than three decades before retiring in the late 80s and marrying financier Robert Jameson older brother of three-time Oscar. Winning actress Celia St. James now widowed from her seventh husband Hugo resides in Manhattan preternaturally beautiful and a paragon of glamour and daring sexuality Hugo. Chapter 1 Can you come into my office I look around at the desk beside me and then back at Frankie trying to confirm to whom exactly she's talking I point to myself do you mean me Frankie as very little patience yes Monique you that's why I said Monique can you come into my office sorry I just heard the last part Frankie turns I grab my notepad and follow her there is something very striking about Frankie I'm not sure that you'd say she was conventionally attractive her features are severe her eyes very wide apart but she's nevertheless someone you can't help but look at and Admire with her thin six-foot-tall frame, her short-cropped afro, and her affinity for bright colors, and big Julu when Frankie walks into a room, everyone takes note her she was part of the reason I took this job. I have looked up to her since I was in journalism school reading her pieces in the very pages of the magazine she now runs and I now work for, and if I'm being honest there is something very inspiring about having a black woman running things as a biracial woman myself, light brown skin and dark brown eyes courtesy of my black father and abundance of face. Freckles courtesy of my white mother Frankie makes me feel more sure that I can one day run things to take a seat Frankie says as she sits down and gestures toward an orange chair on. The opposite side of her lucite desk I calmly sit and cross my legs I let Frankie talk first so puzzling turn of events she says looking at her computer Evelyn Hugo people are. Inquiring about a feature and exclusive interview my gut instinct is to say holy shit but also why are you telling me this about what in particular I asked my guess is it's related to the gown. Auction she's doing Frankie says my understanding is that it's very important to her to raise as much money for the American Breast Cancer Foundation as possible but they won't.